Hello friends, I'm your Tracy's Total Wellness Girl with Wellness Wednesday. Today we're doing one of my favorite yoga poses to help relieve tightness in the low back. It also really helps after a big meal or when we're feeling a little lethargic. It's called spinal rocking. What this actually will help you do is to connect our cranium to our sacrum and get more relaxation response in our nervous system. So it'll help us get present. We're also walking and sitting and being in weird ways with our body. So this, this position and then the movement we do actually helps to unlock our SI joint, which is our sacroiliac joint. It's where our sacrum and our hip bones meet. It can get really locked up, causing things you might have heard of like sciatica and other stuff like that. As well as a lot of people complain of lower back things, this can be a lifesaver. I recommend if you're someone that sits a lot, travels a lot, incorporate this into your evening regimen. It can really help and it doesn't take very long. All you gotta do is find a floor and once you lay down, all you're gonna do is just squeeze your knees in. Now, if you can't hold on easily this way, you can grab behind, but you're gonna squeeze your knees in and I like to hold each knee with each hand. And then all you're gonna do here is you're gonna start circling to one side or the other. And you're gonna start to feel yourself circling right on your sacrum. You might start to feel it mm, being ouchy or you might start to feel it releasing. Move at the pace that feels good for you, but keep the breath flowing. So breathing in and breathing out. Now I like to do at least 10 times on one side. And then once my knees get to my chest, we just reverse the direction. Now your spine are rocking on the other side. This might feel different than the other side. And again, about 10 times on that way. And then you squeeze your knees in, one little squeeze in, inhale. And then exhale, you're gonna bring your feet down. You notice your knees are bent, feet flat. And I like to just place my hands down and you're gonna push into your heels. And as you push into your heels, it's going to activate a little rocking sensation where you're rocking back and forth on your hips. But if you notice, it's affecting my head. So my head is actually rocking back and forth. This I love to do for, I can even do it for a hundred count. It just feels really powerful. But you take deep breaths in and you rock back and forth. You know what the pace that feels good for you or no need to count. Just rock back and forth until that spine feels more alive and relaxed. And then when you're ready to come out, you just slowly slow it down until you're in stillness. And I love to take a deep breath and wide. And then exhale. I love to turn on one side and gently press myself up back to a seated position. Again, this is a great evening ritual if you've been traveling a lot post meal, if you're feeling full, it's great also just to give your cranium and your sacrum a little love. If you're interested in learning more about specific self-care techniques for you, I incorporate many things from cupping, foam rolling, yoga into my virtual wellness, as well as my in-person work. Please feel free to reach out as I create customized packages for you to come back home to your body so that you can generate epic self-care and go do the powerful work that you do in this world. I'm Tracy with your Wellness Wednesday and spinal rocking and rolling. Love that spine and be well.